that is payday. I feel so like agitated right now. Reality, it's really not that good. Oh, like you've got so much money. I'm not doing that because I never used to be like this. I did have a little slip up. They might be a little bit harder to use, and it's a little different. <laughs> I'm literally spending no money. How is the money leaving my account? I suck at doing any sort of challenges. So, yeah. I look an absolute pigsty, so don't mind that. Why am I talking like that? Um, so, <laughs> I get a brilliant idea while I'm a little hangover, but the sun is shining, so everything's good. I am doing a no spend challenge for the month. First March and start of April. This is so meaningful to me because I can't save my money at all. And all I spend it on is absolute shit. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I could only do a week because doing a month straight off the bat is a lot. Well, it's gonna be a little bit hard, especially when you can't spend anything. Like normally I have this budget spending budget of like six dollars a week do i go over that yes so my money spending habits are atrocious right now so i need to literally go back to the basics and because i love doing that sort of shit and i mean i feel like it's an easy enough like it's mentally challenging but i just have to make sure i'm well prepared like if i'm going somewhere i know i want to buy like an iced coffee or something make it at home i'm not really going to be going out so I don't really have any plans to do that. And even over Easter, I do love going out for lunch and stuff like that. It's kind of perfect because it's right before a gig that I have. It's quite a big gig, so I can save some money. I can splurge on some drinks while I'm there and not feel guilty about it because I would have saved close to $1,000 through this month, which is pretty decent. And then also bumped up my, I've got like seven accounts on my bank account and then bumped those up too. And I also have packages coming next week and also the week after. So it is like I am like spending money. So I'm like getting one package a week and then surely those first two weeks will be the hardest and then I'll be like oh my god this is so easy <laughs> the first day is always like oh yeah I can do it like I'm so good look at me go it'll be interesting to see this but yep <laughs> So it's day three of this whole no spending thing and day one, day two, fine. Day three, I kinda, it is payday. So I feel like that is gonna be a little bit hard because normally payday, I'm like, oh, like you've got so much money. Spend a little bit and it doesn't matter because it's only a little bit and it doesn't make a huge dent. And I've had like a couple of like thoughts of like stuff I wanna buy, but I'm like, oh, not doing that, <laughs> not doing that. Today might be a little bit harder than the rest and it's only day three. I mean, just look at that money coming into my account and know that that's not going to go down. I've got a package coming, so that might help me out. I feel like an addict. Like, this is so bad. This is the point that I've gotten to. Like, I gotta spend my money. I did want to talk about what stuff I want to save up for because I feel helped me. And it has helped me, like, talking about it. It'll be middle of April, so it'll be coming up to my birthday. So I have some birthday money to save. Spend. And then I also want to get my hair dyed. So I want to do that the day before my actual birthday because my birthday is on a Wednesday. Hopefully my afterpay account will be all paid off. Currently there's 400, but I mean, nothing on it. This is me trying to fucking redeem myself. Nothing on it is a waste of money. There's concert tickets, gig tickets. I bought my matcha powder on there. There's something on Briscoe's. Like it's not anything that's like, oh my God, shopping spree sort of thing. Even though I do really, really want to do a shopping spree. Or I might just go through my clothes again because girly, there's some stuff in there that you are really just, you're not going to wear, but you like having the comfort of it. I'm just excited for my habits to change because I never used to be like this. <laughs> oh, I feel so like agitated right now. This is probably like the easiest challenge ever because a lot of challenges, you've got to do something. Like work out every day. You've got to do it. This, you're literally not doing anything. You're not spending the money. I love choosing the easiest challenge, but also the mentally hardest challenge. Five days, nearly a week. And my first package that I ordered before this challenge has arrived. Oh my God. <gasps> and this is the free gift I got. It smells so nice. So this is a shampoo and I got a lollipop. And this is hair oil, holy fuck. Oh my God, I love hair stuff. That smells so good. Anyways, the stuff I actually bought was Olaplex number three. I feel like this has been the best. It really soft after my showers. I just had to restock my shampoo and conditioner. 
So I got that. Oh my god, this box smells so good. Oh my god. And I got my favorite purple shampoo. That's my haul. I love it so much. I'm so happy. So yesterday, day four, I went out of the house for the first time. And it's an interesting experience. My work actually bought me a smoothie. So that was very nice of her. I did feel too tempted. It did feel a little bit weird, but... I just had the goal in mind. And I also realized that when I finish this challenge, it's gonna be on the week of my pay week. I would have gone through three cycles of getting paid. So I'm gonna be loaded. Where the hairdressers get me hairy done. And I'm gonna pay for that shit in full and not put it on after pay. And then also our tax money will be getting calculated. I get some money back from that. Hopefully they have miscalculated my tax. I am making like a list of what like stuff I want. And so at the end of it, if I actually really want it, I can buy it. I'm feeling really good about this challenge. And this weekend, my friends are going out. So I guess that's kind of hard. I mm, can't spend any money while being out. It's package number two. This is my Shein order. Which came so quickly. I literally ordered it last Friday. And it took a week to come. I got a fit for a gig that I'll be going to. Oh my god, it's so green. That looks very confusing. It feels like really good quality. And then I got some headbands. I got a little fanny pack because it is not really festy season. But I used my friend's one and I actually loved it so much. It's way better than having a bag. I'm going to try this fit on and hopefully it looks good. And then this is a wee grinder. Rose gold. She's gorgeous. Oh, so clean. So this is the fit. She's so cute. I got the headband on too. Oh my god, I'm actually obsessed with this. Like, it took a while for me to figure out what the heck to do, but it is so cute. My ass looks so fat. My legs look so good. I did the hardest session, leg sesh, yesterday, but oh my fuck, like, are you fucking joking me right now? Oh, let's put the fanny pack on. I like it, it kind of runs the outfit, but... I need a whole my shirt, especially since I have no pockets. I cannot get over it. It's so cute. Oh, the gig's in. The second month of autumn, so... Oh, praying for a nice day. Oh my god, I can't. And I just tanned and it looks so fucking mean. Okay, I need to stop because I'm too in love with myself. Like, nothing wrong with that, but... You are your main character in your life, so... Why the fuck would you not be in love with yourself? First week has actually not been too bad, but it only has been the first week. It's actually nice I'm just going to the grocery store and like buying whatever I need, whatever I'm craving, instead of just going on Uber Eats, ordering something. It's a treat, not an everyday thing. Because I guess like moving out of home, if you don't really get that sort of stuff, like I'm my own adult, I can eat whatever the hell I want. But in reality, it's really not that good. But I'm really excited to see how the next week goes. I feel like it's gonna get harder. It's gonna be, I feel like the second week is gonna be the hardest. But this feels like a reality show. Second week's gonna be harder and it's just gonna. It's been a week and a half. Made a wee bagel. And I did have a little slip up, but basically I'm gonna Kiwi date and we just got a drink. So I ended up Ubering there. That's the only thing which I feel like too bad because i mean parking would have been like nearly that amount he ended up paying for the drinks which was very sweet i did offer to split them quite glad i didn't split them because we got a lot of drinks as you can see i am now suffering for it now but maybe that was the world like just congratulating me for i've got to pay for my car so that's taking a chunk out of the savings that i had all my other accounts are kind of getting drained and i'm like i'm literally spending no money i guess i did spend more on groceries spending like 200 dollars on groceries actually ridiculous hey guys so a little update nearly the end of the second week I did a wee oopsie, I paid for a tarot card reading. Ah! Trust me to pay for a fucking tarot card. It was the extended version of it and it was really, really resonating, like the first free version of it. So I was like, I have to listen to the rest. And it did, it did help a lot. It's something that was good for my mental health in that moment and something that I needed to hear. But otherwise, it's been going good. I deleted the Uber Eats app. I need to clean my car this weekend. It is 
Dite. I really want to buy new set covers. I've been like adding to the list of stuff I want to buy. And it's just getting bigger and bigger, but at least I'm not buying it. There's um gel nail kit. I need some winter sheets. I need some new pillowcases. Can't remember what else is on that list this challenge is actually going relatively good because i suck at doing any sort of challenges my bank account's not really getting any better because i have a lot of expenses to pay for um had to fix my car so because someone crashed into me i don't know if i said that or not so i paid for that yesterday so that was very very fun loved every second of it anyways i'm gonna go inside and go to the gym so it is end of the week three, which is insane. I've only got one more week to go. It feels like this challenge, like I'm doing it, but since I can still buy stuff from like the supermarket and stuff, it's it's kind of like, mm. but I'm still not buying anything, which is really good. I haven't really been tempted too much, and especially like Uber Eats, I haven't been tempted, which I thought I'd be majorly in tempted by the only thing i did buy was i had to go to town on thursday it's for the long weekend easter weekend i thought easter weekend would be so much harder but it's actually not so the thing is like i've got my alcohol at home i did buy a bottle of wine from the supermarket that we've done a treat oh my gosh i need to start preying with wine it's so fun and i feel like i don't know once you start like doing stuff like this people that have not bought me stuff before I like kind of buying me stuff like a drink or something you kind of find a way around like not spending your money I only bought the uber to go to town that's all the money I spent and someone bought me a drink in town so I was like yo we are on we love life thank you very much sir I've started actually saving money because I just paid off all the money I had to give to my mum after pay is the lowest it's been in months it's literally at eighty dollars and I'm like holy crap that's crazy I've got money in uh, which I always forget I've got money in shares that's slowly going up but I took a bunch of that money out to pay for all my after pay stuff so now I'm just gonna let that keep going up and then at the end of it I think I'll like treat myself doing this challenge I've definitely developed way better habits because i would kind of just be like oh like it's okay i deserve this like i deserve like giving myself a treat sort of thing but my mindset has changed a little bit and i'm kind of like no i want to save for something big and something decent i'm coming on here to say i didn't fail but i had a little bit of a slip up and maybe i eat my feelings through food maybe i woke up at like 6 a.m and i was so hungry i just wanted some chips and a milkshake at 6 a.m so i got a raspberry milkshake it was shit and then gravy chips, which were all right, but still kind of shit. So it was only $11, so it wasn't too bad for what I got. So I got 50 percent off and there was like nothing open at 6 a.m. And I also, yesterday it was a whole fucking mess. It was just not, it was not good. Today also I went out for dinner with a mate. Two little slip ups, both on food. So that kind of tells you what I kind of go towards when spending my money. All right little slip up we've got one more week to go i'm a little worried because like i've got a 21st this coming weekend because i predicted this month that i was doing the no spend spending thing like nothing would happen like nothing was going on and it was right before my birthday right before when everything was going on but also that's life things come up i'll try my best to not spend any money but if i need to spend some money then it will happen so fourth week might be rough too I thought it was supposed to get better, but maybe it doesn't get better. We'll see what happens. So I'm here to officially finish this damn video because, oh my goodness. I just want to come on here and just summarize everything because I put on my story how I paid off my all my afterpay and I got a lot of people DMing me saying like, how did I do it? How much they have on their afterpay? And it made me realize I'm not the only one that has a little bit of an issue with it because it's so easy to like rack it up i remember when i first got after pay i said i'm not going to be one of those people that just rack up heaps on after pay have so many different payments and at the start i wasn't like that but then there was a time that i was like oh shit there's a lot on my after pay right now and then i just keep going when over a hundred dollars is coming out each fortnight out of your pay that adds up and it does drain your account and then you've got no money to spend for the week. I guess my kind of tips with that are, I have only a couple things on there. I'd say like big purchases that you do want to like stagger out the payments. If it's something little, you don't have to put it on there, that's what I did. But then those little things also add up to 50 bucks. And I found like a lot of my spending was because being like unsatisfied and like life or my career and stuff. So I needed just those 
little dopamine boost to be like okay i'm doing fine i did need to get to the root cause of it and wonder why i'm actually feeling this way it's just like putting a band-aid on the problem and i feel like money was definitely like that for me and i did learn that about myself so i'm still taking that on board we'll see how that goes so i did end up saving close to a grand my expenses i pay off 800 dollars so thanks for watching this video guys different kind of video but i definitely want to do more monthly challenges but yeah let me know if you have any questions stay tuned for my next video Bye.